Dimensional imaging, always. Showing people what you've got in mind, not what they think you've got in mind. Designed with a holographic computer and built from prefabricated materials, the home of the future will be far more than just a residence. It will be an element of lifestyle and will facilitate learning, inspiration, and communication. One of the most interesting aspects of tomorrow's civilization will be the fact that if you knew anyone fairly well and went to visit them in a period of time of just a few years, their houses will change because the people living in them change. Their needs and dimension of knowledge grows considerably, and so will the environment that they live in. There's no such thing as a fixed home that a person lives in all their lives. It changes with their values, with their outlook, with their acquired knowledge. You had said one thing about how the buildings were designed according to function. Yes. The curvature and the materials and the... Yes. I compare it to well, natural physiology. An animal's shape is not designed from the outside in. It evolves from the inside out. Whatever you request, the exterior will express a cover over the shape that you prefer to live in. Some of the buildings that are dome-shaped can be laid like eggs continuously by a machine that carries a dome shape, and in that dome, the exterior and the interior are fabricated at the same time. Not everyone will choose to live in a dome. They will choose to live in whatever architectural shape would meet their needs. The reason why we suggest a dome is it uses the minimum amount of materials and covers the maximum areas and offers maximum strength. So the dome shape uh, is included in all, almost all of nature. Your brain is in a dome. The cranial case is in a dome. So if a person says, yeah, I don't think I'd want to live in a dome, you've been living in a dome most of your life. The interior building will have no source of light. You won't be able to see a lamp or a source of light. All the walls would evenly, would have even illumination. You can also specify the color of the illumination, either the entire inner surface or local areas of different color, if this is your request. This would be the simplest type of bathroom, shower, sink, toilet bowl molded into one system. Actually, there's no hardware on here, but there's a slot and the water comes out as a ribbon and that'll cut the soap off the hand and uh, use about one sixth the amount of water. Now the wastewater from the sink goes down into a pipe around here and fills the water closet and we flush the john with that water. So instead of telling people to save water, build a system in. This is what it's all about if you wish to conserve water. Now the bathrooms may vary from that simple style to slightly more complex, but all one piece. There may be as many as 50 variations on a bathroom. You pick what you want and then it's installed. When you leave the building, the entire building is clean. We also have a slight increase in air pressure in the building, so no dust comes in your house from the outside. If there's any contaminants in the air, it increases the electrostatic charge, which removes contaminants. It would be a smart house, because the house has its own nervous system. This is what I'm saying. In the future, houses will have many sensory devices to detect fire, toxic materials, uh, anything that may threaten the life of a human being. Now, if you walked into the house of the future, you might say, can I use your phone? So what's a phone? You, know, then, uh, you just say, I'd like to talk to Sam in Arabia. What part of Arabia? You just announce what you want, and the sound will be focused at some point and stand right at your ear. 
so you can hear Sam in Arabia. In southern Florida, millions of dollars in buildings were destroyed by the big hurricane there, and they put up buildings that looked just about the same. Now, if you don't want hurricane damage, an inverted cone, it's almost impossible for a whirlwind to pick up an inverted cone. So we would have these shelters built in the West Indies or wherever hurricanes occur. And inside would be pull down bedding, food storage, and emergency water. So this is the kind of form that no vortex or wind can pick up. Try to pick this up with greasy fingers. And that's similar to the wind whirling around it. apartment buildings and other large structures, Jacques has devised a cybernated construction system. Computer-controlled robots will handle 90% of the movement and placement of prefabricated components. Special advanced materials are to be developed, eliminating waste and minimizing the need for manual labor. Guided by satellite and using a sophisticated form of artificial intelligence, the buildings will construct themselves, a technique Jacques has named self-erecting structures. This represents a relatively complex aluminum extrusion. If you were to take a toothpaste tube and cut the letter T in the opening and squeeze the toothpaste, it would come out like a letter T. And this is how extrusions are made. However, in the future, it may be possible to extrude complete apartment houses, apartment building units or modules. This extruder can be faced with different dies to mold different shapes. Almost an infinite variety of shapes can be extruded. So it would be the apartment of your preference that's extruded. So any shape or almost any extruded shape can be designed to fit many different architectural arrangements. This is a transitional type structure which utilizes cranes to lift the components of the building. Eventually, the building itself will be part of the self-erecting structure. Don't forget, all the models that I do are only transitional. They don't represent the best that man can turn out, because no one knows what the future will bring. Mm. There are just so many variables that can alter things. Mm. So the models that I make are all transitional, mm. and many of them are only conceptual. Mm. They're not necessarily what the future might look like. Right. They're only, well, let's say they're extrapolations taking the present and extrapolating forward. But we can't go too far forward because we don't know uh, what new things will come into being. Now this looks like a train station. We hope to phase out the airplane by designing transportation units that can move up to 2,000 miles an hour floating on a, a magnetic repulsive field or an air cushion. And in those huge trains of tomorrow, there'll be television, radio, amusement, art centers, classrooms, not a group of seats lined up as your trains are today. If 40 or 50 people have to leave the train, we slow up to 100 miles an hour, lift off the passenger section, or slide it off and slide on a section with the passengers getting on. You don't have to stop the whole plane or the train. In the future, we will just shove off those passengers getting off and that freight leaving. This is part of the linear acceleration train that can take you anywhere in the world in just a few hours, safely, without snow, rain, being lost at sea, are all subject these things, to the weather. Are all these things you're saying?